can talk more about who Sheldon Adelson is. Sure. I mean, there, 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 there was a reason we were trying to speak to him. Um, he's, you know, he's pledged to spend as much as $100 million on this year's campaign and, you know, an attempt to uh, defeat President Obama. Uh, and it's is really one of the most significant figures uh, post Citizens United, where you can now spend unlimited amounts of money, uh, to, you know, whether it's the super PACs or the 501c4s. And oh, on Democracy Now!, we've interviewed uh, one investigative journalist named Peter Stone, who now is a freelancer with the Huffington Post several times. And I want to go back to a clip of Peter uh, when he was on Democracy Now! In, in July, really outlining who Shell Adelson is. He was the leading supporter of Newt Gingrich's effort, the outside group that was backing Gingrich. He had long-standing ties to Gingrich and was hoping he would get the nomination. Uh, when Gingrich withdrew, he threw his support initially reluctantly to Romney. He felt that Romney was not as decisive as Gingrich and might not be quite as good on certain issues of particular importance to Adelson. Number one on his agenda is strong support for the Israeli government and particularly conservative wing of the Israeli political operation parties. Uh, he has close ties to Netanyahu, and he is generally considered a hawk on uh, Middle East issues. He opposes a two-state solution to the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. And Gingrich had been, you know, far more outspoken. Romney is strong on these issues, too. And, um, you know, he is now backing Romney. His overriding concern is to defeat President Obama. He thinks Obama is weak on Israeli issues, Middle East issues. He also has publicly castigated him for his economic policies. He described them, I think, to Forbes as socialist-style uh, economic policies, which he's worried about, uh, you know, continuing for another four years. So he's dedicated to defeating um, Obama. He's also throwing a lot of money, tens of millions of dollars, into other groups, outside groups, that are playing big in trying to help Republicans win the Senate and keep the House. Um, I reported in Huffington Post a few weeks ago that he has given an estimated $70 million or committed estimated $70 million thus far this cycle. We know about $30 million of that is public at this stage. Uh, I learned that he has given at least $10 million to a Karl Rove group that doesn't have to disclose its donors, Crossroads GPS, and pledged another $10 million for Rove's operation. Likewise, he has given $10 million recently to a Coke entity, one of the groups backed by the billionaire industrialist Charles and David Koch. So um, he is definitely committed to helping get Obama out of the White House and trying to help Republicans make major gains in the fall in the congressional front.